Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cryptic TNG back with a brand new video today. We're going to be reacting to the Assetto Corsa Evo trailer. Okay, so um, let's get stuck into the video. Sheesh! This is not about your age. Okay. Damn! This is not about your car. It isn't about your experience. Yo. Yo, that look crazy, bro. It isn't about performance or power. And it isn't about how you portray your love for driving. I swear that's Aris talking. That's got because to be. Because Carpathian is a state of mind. And it's driven by heart. Okay. Okay, weather changes look crazy. Oi, the rain looks decent. Oi, bro, can you guys see the rivers across the track? Yo, I like that. I like that a lot. I wonder if it's going to be like, who remembers P cars with all the big puddles when you used to go into a puddle and it used to absolutely send you sideways, man. It's going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting. I've got a few thoughts and things that I, I kind of want to talk about with um, AC Evo, man. But let's carry on. Yo, yo. Okay. That look like Fuji. That's Fuji, right? Yep. Nords. I mean, oh, you can put it on the wish list, 16th of January, bro. Early access starts on the 16th of January, so it's not going to be this year. Okay, let's let's go back to a few things. Let me turn the volume down. That's pretty loud. Um, I wanted to see. I saw something on the in-car. Uh, where was it? Did see something on the in car. It looks pretty cool. Have we gone past it? Let me just play it again from the beginning. I'm gonna turn it down though. Um, for me at the moment, this is not about you know I'm I'm definitely gonna get the game. But what I'm what I'm like in a in a in two minds if it is what what's gonna happen between the the competitive scene because obviously you're gonna get loads of people buying this game, loads of casual players, loads of people that want to, you know, play with the mods and do a lot of drifting or driving through traffic and stuff like that, which is cool. For me personally, I'm more into the competitive scene. And for me, every time there's a game that, that allows mods, you never really get a, you know, a, a really good competitive scene. You never really get like standout championships, you know? So I'm wondering if, you know, SRO is going to move on to, AC Evo, if it does, then it'll be great because obviously there is the potential of modding, but would they allow like a modded championship with an official sponsor? I'm not too sure, man. Oh, where did I see? I saw some some in car in car HUD. This is not about your car. Where is it? It isn't about your experience. That looks dope, by the way. It isn't about performance or power. And it isn't about how you portray your love for driving. What is it about then, Aris? Because Carpathian is a state of mind. <laughs> and it's driven by heart. I mean, next year is going to be very, very interesting, man. Very interesting. I can't wait. I can't wait. A lot is happening in sim racing right now. Was it then? No, it wasn't that one. Weather changes look amazing, by the way. The weather changes look great. Um, 
again, I think they're, they're going away from the, the handling model they use for ACC, which personally I probably think is probably a good thing because ACC to me never really, I don't know, it never really nailed it in terms of, you know, feel for me personally. But um, hopefully this game goes back a little bit more traditional with how um, AC felt. But obviously I would hope that they would, you know, spruce things up a little bit sharpen up some of the edges instead of just having just wait i hope that there's nuances to it and i hope that it's a little bit more accurate and gives a bit more detail that looks really good man the rain looks really good now, hold on hold on this this is downhill right so the water will be streaming backwards I, I i like that i like that that's the what second to last corner at um Miz mizano imola sorry Wait, wait, is that, is that, is the water traveling uphill? Hold on a second. Does gravity exist? Because I'm confused, bro. I'm sure the water looks like it's traveling uphill. <laughs> they might have to fix that one, lads. I don't know about that one. Yeah, this looks crazy. This actually looks crazy. But I'm, I think you can get this as a mod for the set of course that we have right now. Um, yeah, this, this is a, this is something, man. It looks cool. Um, again, I want to know what the competitive scene is saying because could this potentially, potentially um, challenge iRacing in a sense where we, we've got no fuel motorsport. Um, if the game is going to allow mods and we get some, you know, some serious championships on AC Evo, you have to think that we've got, we're going to have a plethora of cars. There's going to be, well, there should be loads of different cars. Loads of different tracks. We've got LFM daily races. And if we get some good like esports competitions, you know, I don't see why AC Evo can't, you know, fulfill all those different aspects. But at the same time, as I said before, I was talking with Prenner earlier, it tends not to be any real big serious championships on games that has mods because I guess the sponsors and stuff won't allow it for whatever reason because it's not you know, the tracks aren't official. Um, but I would like to see something, man. I would like to see some big esports championship ran on AC Evo, particularly if they have the cars and they have the ability to mod tracks because everything we've been asking for, everything I've been asking for on ACC that we couldn't get with the, you know, the GT Asia packs, the all the American tracks, technically we could, we could mod all of those into the game. And then we won't have anything to complain about. If the handling model is A1, if the, the GT freeze and stuff is A1, then, you know, why not take it to the next level? Um, question, guys. Do you, one, do you think this could challenge um, iRacing in terms of, you know, daily races and, you know, the amount of cars and tracks that we can get if we can get a lot of top drivers to actually be competing in big competitions? Or do you feel like the GT3, um, the GT3 mantra is going to move on from ACC and perhaps go to like a Le Mans Ultimate instead where we know GT3s are coming, it's an official title, it's based around WEC. And you, to me personally, I can see more of a competitive scene going towards Le Mans Ultimate rather than AC Evo. But with AC Evo, there is a lot of... Um, there's a lot of potential, so it's going to be interesting for 2025 where everyone jumps to, man. And this this might be one of those times where you see the community that's been built up on ACC sort of split up and go their separate ways, man. So I don't know how I feel about that. It would be good if a lot of the community would stay together. Um, because, you know, when, you, when you, you raise people, you know them, you build a rapport, you kind of know who everybody is or whatever, but... Times are changing, man. Times are changing. ACC is towards the end of the cycle. And who knows where people are going next. Right now, I'm kind of in the Le Mans Ultimate bracket. But I'm definitely going to be seeing what AC Evo is all about. Um, what about you guys, man? Where, where, where is it at for you? Where, what's your next move, man? What is your next move? I know a lot of people are casuals. And if you're like a, a casual player, then... 
I can tell you that most people are going to be jumping on AC Evo. The Mons Ultimate for me is not really a casual game because it's pretty tricky. Um, but man, it looks good, man. It does look good with the up-to-date graphics. The, the chance that LFM could be involved in daily races and stuff like that. Um, the the ability to mod. You have to say it is a threat, man, because iRacing, racing without doubt is the you know is the omega of sim racing games. But the you know it's pretty old. The tire models probably a little bit questionable. Um, graphically, it's just you know it's old. You know it's not there. So. Who can realistically take it to iRacing? What iRacing have, though, is that standout multiplayer system, that standout um, quality of driver where you know you're competing in these competitions, you're competing against the best week in, week in, week, in, week out, day in, day out, and no, nowhere actually has that the same as iRacing, and that's why they are on top. But what can AC Evo actually do, man? What can it do in this, in this sim racing community that is really going crazy uh, this year and next year man so interesting to see your thoughts definitely leave your comments in the comment section below cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace